new on the motherboard end, we have the Gigabyte SOC, X99 SOC Champion. So what does this have on it that makes it a little bit more special than the other ones? Well, Paul, this one is actually focused heavily on overclock. Okay. So you can see that it's in our standard orange and black, which has always been our overclocking scheme for right. quite a while. Uh, you know, you can also see that with the next 99, everyone knows that there's eight DIMM slots available, mm -hmm. but you only see four here. Now the reason being is a lot of overclockers, they'll actually only use four DIMM slots or even just one to get their frequency that they want. And again, this is DDR4. This, uh, this platform or this uh, memory has only been, been being used for about half a year right now. So it's very new and very fresh on the market. Uh, lots of uh, breakthroughs with it right now with the SOC Champion board. Uh, we've had uh, we've had an OC event a few days ago, and even now the guys behind us here are doing some overclocking, and they were able to break the DDR4 memory frequency record um, several times, and they even I think the highest they've hit so far is 4,000 megahertz plus. Very good. All right. So why why is this a little bit more special than? than your regular RAM, RAM slots. So, uh, as you can see on the back, there's actually not all those standard pins that you usually see, like you see right here. This is because these RAM slots are SMT, so they're surface mount terminations, which allow for a better signal, less noise, less crosstalk, which allows for a better overclocking frequency when they're trying to overclock RAM. Okay, and then also, down on the bottom here, looks like we have an M.2. Yes, so this M.2, we do support the three lengths, 42, 60, and 80, and 22 millimeters wide. And not only that, this one also has a Thunderbolt. So with X99, we are Thunderbolt ready, and that's Thunderbolt 2. So, which means you can get about 20 gigabits throughput off a single Thunderbolt cable. And all you have to do is put in a Thunderbolt card, which we do carry, and you're good to go on that in that aspect. What, the, what is this little orange line leading to? So you guys might have seen this on a lot of our recent boards that we've had or uh, uh, even our current boards. Basically we have this noise guard here and it separates the digital from the analog side. And not only that, we've done some other things that you guys might not see on the board directly. Our left and right channels are usually on different PCB layers so okay. it can prevent crosstalk. So these are all performance enhancements that we've added to the board that you might not always be able to see, but it's necessary to give users or consumers the best thing for their buck. And of course, it's SLI and Crossfire ready. That was our nice look at the X99 SOC Champion motherboard. Leon showed us and talked about, we hit on the Thunderbolt qualities of the SOC board a couple seconds ago. Now we're actually going to take a look at what that Thunderbolt adds to this system if you choose to use it. Here's the Thunderbolt card that comes with it. And of course Leon has the cables. And we'll go ahead and take a look at, let's give you a close look. It's going to be kind of hard to see this, but that's why we have this in our hand. If you go underneath here, Underneath the video card, you're going to see the Thunderbolt. It's very hard to see, but you can, you can see that Thunderbolt. And of course, coming out of the back, we have the Thunderbolt cable. This Thunderbolt cable is going into the system that's, that's next to it. We're going to flip around here, and then we're going to take a look at what it's doing, and why it's doing it, and how it's doing it. All right. So basically, what you guys just saw, you guys saw... a. Uh, our X99 Gaming G1 Wi-Fi with the Thunderbolt card attached to it, the one in uh, Paul's hand right here. We attach the pin headers and we also have an another an, a display port cable coming from our graphics card into the input display port so that Thunderbolt can carry the video signal as well as the data signal out. So what we did here is we connected it to the system. This case was made by Bob Stewart, so they did a great job case modding this for us and it's coming out to this Thunderbolt monitor, one single cable. And this one single cable is actually daisy chaining over to this drive, which then daisy chains over to this drive. And this is Thunderbolt 2.0, uh, sorry, this is Thunderbolt 2, and this is what all X99, Gigabyte X99 motherboards can support with an additional card. And I can show you guys right now that the system can actually read. 
the two additional drives. So you have the two additional drives here that we're daisy chaining out. And if we come to the back, you can see what he's talking about. And basically what this is, is you're only using one cable coming out of the computer. So you see the one cable coming out of the computer into the monitor, and then another cable coming out of the monitor going into the drive, and then another cable coming from the first drive to the second drive. So this is basically the capabilities of Thunderbolt able to do daisy chaining. Um, hopefully you guys might be interested in something in the future, and you guys can pick up a Thunderbolt card that we carry.